hey everyone welcome back on the channel welcome back to the tlou2 dlssfg video the last of us 2 part 2 remastered released last week and uh, the game is good in terms of optimization but uh, the game still has some issues uh, which is uh, like if you use the fsr frame generation does not matter which upscaler you use as long as you are using fsr frame generation the game's input latency or smoothness is little bit awkward like it is smooth yes but it is not as smooth as it should be on 110 120 fps so yeah we're going to fix that uh, along with that i will also show you how you can upgrade the dlss to dlss 4 with dlss enabler sorry dlss tweaker and uh, yeah so this is going to be an interesting video let's start this video without any delay now uh, you guys can see some zips on the desktop uh, so there will be two method one is dlss enabler trunk which i'm not gonna show it's really simple just uh, extract install the 0.6 version and select amd intel if we have one and uh, other one is the optiscaler version but this has an updated method in which you don't need to restart the game you can just install and select uh, the dlss frame generation even before starting the game so yeah i'll show you that and this nvapi is for those users um, who cannot see the dlss in game maybe for amd users mostly so first i'm going to extract this zip on the desktop after that uh, we will copy these files to the installation directory of tlou2 which is here paste this again we will extract this zip dlss to fsr 3 amd is better 2025 i know that's a mouthful but yeah copy this one to paste it in the same installation directory after that we're gonna click on the optiscaler setup.bat then select one for dxgi press enter select one or two based on your gpu i have nvidia so i'm pressing two press enter press any key to continue now after that uh, you will need to run the optiscaler.ini here so run it with any text editor i'm going to use normal notepad now after opening this text file you will see scroll down here you will see the frame gen tab this one and in the fg type it will say auto so what you need to do is delete it and write this new camps now you can just copy it paste it or just write it n u k e m s just make sure you have uh, written correctly according to this uh, everything in small letter and after that click on file click on save close the text file and do one thing run the disable signature override in the dlss override folder so disable signature override click on yes click on ok now i'm going to run the launcher uh, and i'll show you that dlss fg is now selectable all right i have uh, started the launcher of the game and if i go to the option now and select the frame generation tab now you can see that dlss frame generation has come online so yeah i'm going to select that and i'll boot back into the game and i'll show you how much smoother it is from previous uh, method and everything okay one thing i forgot to show which is dlss swapper uh, by which you can upgrade the dlss so i'll be putting that link in the description install that after opening you will be greeted with this ui uh, if you cannot find your game in here just click on this add button after that uh, go to the tlu2 installation folder uh, open this folder where all these folders are located and just click on select game folder and your game the last of us 2 will be added just click on add game i have already added so i'm not adding again and it will be founded in the manually added section here select that uh, click on this in dlss and select which version you want to install the undownloaded ones will download one time if you swap on them but yeah uh, you can also upgrade the frame generation fsr 3 vulkan xcss everything you get my point so yeah let's dive back into the game and i'll show you updated list of 2025 offline activated and rental and uncracked games is here pause the video choose your game join discord and send message to the cheap games buying channel all right uh, i am back inside the game and i don't know if you can see it but uh, this is much more smoother than fsr frame generation i will just switch real quick uh, so i've selected the fsr frame generation and uh, i'm moving the camera now i think you guys can notice it even in the 60 fps video in youtube so this is the fsr frame generation now as soon as i switch to the dlss
it is way more smoother here the input times are more consistent and the fluidity of the game has increased very much so yeah this will be it for this video i guess now if this helps you consider subscribing to the channel if you are facing any issue comment down below don't forget to use the nb api if you are on amd gpu and cannot see the in-game dlss and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one join discord for cheap games for last of us 2 assassin's creed shadows and everything and yeah bye